People moved to Acton, Massachusetts for the outstanding public schools, the beautiful green spaces, and the proximity to all major routes in greater Boston. I'm Jane, welcome to my channel, Living in the Boston Burbs. If you are moving to the Boston area and are wondering which suburb is right for you, then you've come to the right place. Each week I feature a different suburb and share important information about the real estate market and about what your life would be like living in greater Boston. There's a saying in Acton that the American Revolution was begun in Lexington, fought in Concord, and won by the men of Acton. So yes, it is right next door to its better known counterpart, Concord, Massachusetts. It's another historic town with a cute town center and a wide range of housing from antiques to new construction. I love connecting with my YouTube viewers. In fact, I was just out house hunting in Acton with a person that found me on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. So Acton is about 25 miles northwest of Boston. It's inside of Route 495 and Route 2, which is a four-lane highway, which runs all the way into Boston, cuts right through it. It's bordered by Concord and Carlisle on the east. Westford and Littleton to the north, Stowe, Maynard, and Sudbury to the south, and Boxborough, also neighbors, and they share a high school. The commuter rail runs through Acton to North Station in downtown Boston, and it takes about 50 minutes. One thing to know if you are commuting to Boston on the commuter rail, there's North Station and then there's South Station. Those are the major train stations downtown, but they do not connect. So you want to make sure you pay attention to where you're commuting to pick the right suburbs. One of the best things about living in Massachusetts is the proximity to all of New England. For example, last weekend, we took a three hour ride up to Booth Bay Harbor in Maine. So we went in about two hours, we zipped through Portland, and then we had a great weekend on boating and beaching up in Maine. It's absolutely gorgeous. And today I'm leaving for the Cape for Labor Day weekend, and it's going to take us about an hour and a half to be at pristine beach. Beaches. So if you're coming from a part of the country where you're used to a six hour ride to the beach, that is happy news. A couple other things to share about buying a home in Massachusetts, and this applies to Acton and all the surrounding towns. We don't have a lot of developments because we don't have a lot of open land. So you'll find everything from antique homes to new construction, and they can be right next to each other. Some of our older housing stock might also not come with central air conditioning, which again, might be a surprise to those of you coming from a warmer climate. It's certainly something that we've added, but you'll still find listings that don't offer central air. So back to Acton. So Acton has five villages. So Acton Center is much smaller than its neighbor, the Concord Center, which has a lot of shops. But my favorite village is West Acton, which has a cute little town center and lots of good shopping. There's a wonderful bookstore there called The Silver Unicorn, which I encourage you to check out. And my favorite restaurant in Acton is Rapscallions. Great place for lunch or dinner. Nice menu, great service. And Rapscallions is actually in Patriots Hill Village. Some fun things to do in the summer. There's lots right here in Acton. There's a beautiful private country club with golf and tennis and swimming called Quail Ridge Country Club. And it has another sport that I had never heard of called foot golf, which is a combination of soccer and golf. There's lots of fun things to do in the summer. And one of them is actually a pond that's technically in neighboring Concord, which is Walden Pond. Walden Pond is beautiful. It's a nice public beach with a lifeguard. It's a great place to hike around. And it's famous because Henry David Thoreau lived there for many months and wrote his famous book, Walden. Another great thing about Acton is the wide open green spaces and hiking trails and conservation land. So one of the places I encourage you to check out is a kettle pond. It's a grassy pond conservation area and it's a glacial kettle hole, which actually dries up in the summer. So it's really beautiful. And there's tons of hiking and walking trails as well. Check out Pratt's Brook Conservation Area too. And my all-time favorite place in Acton is the Discovery Museum. This is a fantastic place to take kids of all ages. There's a great museum for younger kids and then there's a separate one for older kids. They have tons of science experiments and now they have an outdoor climbing space and what they call a tree house. So you can attend events there. There's a Lego room, really awesome. And people come from all around. When my son was little, we had a membership there and we would go about once a week for him to play different play spaces. Another great place to check out in Acton is Idlewild Farms. 
This is the most amazing farm stand with fresh baked goods. So anytime I have a showing around Acton or Concord, I always make sure I stop there to get ice cream pies to take back to my office. I've talked about the excellent public schools. Now I know I say that about most of the towns in greater Boston, but Acton Boxborough Regional High School is currently rated number one by Boston Magazine. So of all these top schools, we've talked about Wellesley, Wayland, Weston, Lexington. They're all in the top 15 but this year, Acton Boxborough was number one. There's a regional high school that they share with Boxborough. There's a middle school, and then there's six neighborhood elementary schools. One of the other things that I think is also very cool about the public schools is they are offering free breakfast and lunch to all elementary school students. Parents do not need to provide school supplies this year. They are provided by the school which is pretty cool because I remember spending a lot of time at Staples. If I had to give you a con about Acton, I would tell you that you definitely wanted to have a car if you live here. This is not really a place that you can get by without one. And it does have nice large lots compared to some of the other towns that are a little bit closer to Boston. Also, the real estate prices are not quite as crazy as neighboring towns that are, again, maybe five, 10 miles closer to Boston. So if you'd like to know more about the real estate market, just shoot me a message and you can always request my buyer's guide, which gives a little snapshot on all these towns in greater Boston. So that's everything you need to know about Acton, Massachusetts. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.